If there's anyone who's gone through like, we've talked about, we talked a lot about, you know, toxic online culture, mm. a lot on our podcast, but if there's anyone who's been through toxic online culture, <laughs> oh. it is you. Yeah. So if there's someone we could, we could actually you take advice say. from, it's yeah. probably you. You, 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 you need advice, what's wrong? Oh, you've been on Talk like, to me. you've been on like <laughs> the- <laughs> No, I, I'm good. I just want to hear your perspective. Nothing's, yeah, yeah, no, nothing's no. inherently wrong, but like you've been on the forefront of literally every war or battle when it comes to that I side of things on the inside. internet. Yeah, yeah you yeah. are. So it's like, I don't know. It's just, I think it'd be really interesting to hear from your perspective about like what you've seen and what you've gone through. Yeah. And like your honest opinions on it. Yeah, sure. Um, where do I even start? <laughs> How do you begin? Like yeah. what, what's yeah. the start For of this? For starters, Again, I think I was really naive. Right. Like mm. I came on Twitch just to make friends to play video games with. Cause in no. this small town, I knew like two people, two girls mm. and right. like four guys that I would game with sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. we started making YouTube videos as well. Yeah. Like we just yeah. want friends. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And like the two girls didn't even play games anymore. And I'm like, I need friends. You know, I was 17, just wanted to have fun. Yeah. Right. And I kept doing it uh, part time. And I have been on the internet since I was like, 11 or 10. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I know that there will always be some weird comments, some oh, yeah. creepy person, some whatever. Yeah, so definitely. I was very accustomed to that. And I grew up with an older brother, so I was very used to bullying. <laughs> I'm kidding, not bullying, but like if anything, a lot of banter. Like he would talk some shit, I would talk some shit. Yeah. yeah. Now we're besties who play Valorant together, but still. Yeah. Um, so like, I guess I was just very used to that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so streaming, I didn't, like, especially just starting off, I was like, oh, this is normal. You'll get weird comments yeah. here and there. Yeah. But oddly enough, I feel like, let me know if you guys agree, like way back in the day before all these social platforms and mm. Twitch and content creation in general blew up. Mm. I actually feel like the internet was a little more uh, like almost like wholesome and welcoming because there weren't as many people yeah, who were yeah. that deep into it. Yeah, yeah. I was just about to say, it really felt like all the, um, like around 2015, 16, when obviously all the political stuff was happening, yeah. it kind of just shifted into the online thing so with, yeah. Like, yeah. with all the Me Too stuff as well, where everyone had to pick a side with it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it was just, it just became this, you versus them. And then if you were a woman online who had, uh, yeah, yeah. And then that, yeah. so I imagine that was that when it yeah, started picking but, up? Absolutely. But like when I was even like 12, 13, 14, yeah. 15, and I would make friends online and someone found out I was a girl, they were actually really nice. Yeah. Like yeah, too yeah. nice. I have this, like, <laughs> no, legit. Oh, slash I have nice this guys. core memory of playing Maple Story and meeting a guy one time right. and he was like, Oh, I'm gonna quit. And he found out I was a girl and he gave me all his loot. Everything. He had been grinding for like three years. And he was like, well, I'm actually that, quitting today. So here's the most, all my that loot. That is the most maple story. <laughs> so wait, wait, wait. Like only wait. maple story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Dude, you, had a, you had a simp from age. No, legit, <laughs> I had a maple yeah. story simp. That was my, that was probably my first like simping interaction. Yeah. And, and I could tell in that moment, I was like, I think he's treating this me this way because of my gender, but it's very nice. Yeah. So I'll take it. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. as a as a former Maple Story player, yeah. I can I, I can like attest to that being like, cause you know, everyone would play the game and obviously yeah. you could pick like your avatars and whatnot, but it yeah, was yeah. an actual rare occurrence when it's like, you're a female character and, and you're a, a female yes, IRL. Legit, yeah. like girls were like unicorns in the no. gaming scene. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but in the way where we were like treated much nicer because mm. we were rare. Yeah, yeah. exactly, but exactly. I don't know how this went so south. <laughs> Yo, as, as a former league player, how many times did the jungler camp your lane just when they found out you were a girl? Actually, league, I had, I guess, a different experience because people get very angry. During oh, league, oh you yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and if anything, that was when I started feeling like, oh, my gender is something to be used against me. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. if you're not playing well, it's because of this part of you. Right. Like, oh, my genitals dictate how good I am at the game? Odd, but sure. Right. Um, yeah, so I think that's when it like really first started for me. But also with League, I would play a lot with friends and I kind of chalked up a lot of negative experiences to like, oh, just random angry people online. It's just League. That's that's just the League experience at the right? end of the day, right? Yeah. You, you were good there, right? You you were like diamond rank, right? Pl I, higher. Dude, when I grinded, I was pretty fucking good at League. Yeah. Like I, I sold you to like D1 or something on Holy stream shit. as well. Wow. Yeah. But like way back in the day. And the thing is like when you're a casual player yeah. and like these are the streams, you know, you have like Tyler One, Jackson, yeah. Double Live, yeah. Yeah. Pokemon, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah. When 
I'm being compared to these guys who are obviously like insane. Challenges, yeah. And I'm like a casual player, like trying my best, above average, but like you have bad games. D1 mm. is better than your entire chat though, probably at that but, point. Like D1 is like- when people see you have a bad game, they're like, this is my opportunity to say, <laughs> it's cause you're a girl. Right. No, dude, it's cause I'm a casual player and everybody has bad <laughs> games all the time. Like. Yeah. You're not at your peak capabilities 24-7. Yeah. yeah. And streaming exactly. adds on the whole yeah. layer. Yeah. yeah. Like oh, how much pressure was on you as like one of the top, like the top female streamer for like a while to like feel like you had to be like the perfect person or like the perfect role model, even though you're human just like everyone else. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and sometimes still to this day, it, it's just a little bit tough because I feel like I have to overthink a lot of the decisions that I make in order for it to reflect mm -hmm. well yeah. on mm -hmm. this group, an entire gender, if anything, that yeah. I am unintentionally representing. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So yeah, like yeah. when I decide to do something, um, even if it's something as simple as like, I went from playing league to doing like variety content. Yeah. If I don't work my ass off to make that transition work well in my favor, mm -hmm. like, Oh, like finally she like fell off or this or that. Right. You know, you can just people are waiting to celebrate your mm. fool. Yeah, yeah, like they're so ready to write whatever negative narrative. You have to work so hard to create a positive one. Yeah. For example, like when I first started streaming, I saw a lot of people, um, like a lot of people when a girl was doing well, they'd be like, Oh, it's because you're dating this person. Yeah. So mm. they would attribute that yeah. female streamer success to their partner. So I was like, okay, I'm never gonna date anyone publicly. That way, anything I do will be accredited to me. Right. Yeah. I thought, <laughs> <laughs> no, they will just find another way to discredit oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 right? Exactly. And exactly. instead it became like a, who is she dating? She's hiding her boyfriend for donations and subs and this and that. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm either doing this bad <laughs> thing no or I'm doing, I'm either like clout chasing if someone is more popular than me or if someone no. was less popular than me, yeah. I'd be using him yeah. if I had him involved, you know? Yeah. Like or, or you're pandering to like the simps or something, yes, right? You yeah. know? Anything yeah. you do can be seen negatively. That's really what I've learned <laughs> all my time on the internet. So how do you stay positive then? It's, it sounds like Delusion. everything- Delusion. <laughs> yeah, do you just like, I guess it's just like, you just stop giving a shit, I guess it's like- well, Partially, yeah. but honestly what helped me a lot mm. was, um, my female streamer friends. Wow. Like if I didn't have them validating me and being like, no, like from an objective perspective, mm -hmm. telling me there are instances, like obviously I, I mess up and I ap apologize for the situations where I do mess up. Yeah. But I feel like so many things get like convoluted, taken out of oh, context. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just narratives being spread like wildfire to make me look bad. If I didn't have other people that I trusted mm. objectively saying like, no, you are being treated unfairly in comparison to other people in similar positions. Yeah. Yeah. I would have gone crazy. <laughs> I would have yeah. like gassed myself to heck. Yeah. But l luckily I did have like a really, really great support system. Okay. And I think like once I got to a point where I realized, oh wow, this is like a male dominated field. Mm. Oh, yeah. with Look at the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are the good ones. Oh. <laughs> oh. The good ones. The good ones. Yeah. Yeah. It's because we're not in LA. That's what I'm saying. It's just gonna see it. No, but it, it was also like, there's been so many weird moments in this industry. For example, mm. even realizing like, I ne especially need the help of other like men in my field, male content creators, male streamers, yeah. because, and as unfortunately misogynistic as this is, mm. a lot of the audience will only really trust something if it's coming from another guy that they respect. So we need mm. you guys to say women good for me to be good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, you think yeah. so? women good, <laughs> women good, guys. <laughs> guys, women good, yeah, yeah, guys, we all agree with that, right? Right, Connor? Is, right? is that really the case? Is oh, that... oh yeah, and it's especially, okay. That's so depressing. I'm, sorry, I never thought, of it. I'm getting, I, 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 I I've never never, thought about it like that yeah. before, actually. Sorry, I'm yeah. getting so into the yeah, nitty gritty. We could talk about anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 please, no, no, please no, get into the nitty gritty. This in particular, there's like so much to go off of. Not just that, Yeah. but knowing that, and that being very, very clear to me, multiple instances, mm. it made me especially sad when this whole like simp narrative became a thing yeah. right. because then I could very much sense my male friends 
were having a hard time standing up for me or defending me in situations because they didn't want to be deemed, oh, you're just a simp, you're this, yeah. you're that, and yeah. look down upon. Yeah. Yeah. So there was, yeah, there was but, just like- Like yeah. God forbid platonic relationships the, exist. The thing, yeah. well, God forbid I, you say something good about a girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the thing I always found weird about that is that there seems to be like, okay, let's say if a, if, if a woman actually was trying to push the, the boyfriend experience and trying to push that, yeah, it's not like guys don't do it inversely. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And the exactly. thing that I've never really found, I found really weird is because as a guy, I see other, sometimes I see other content creators really going for that angle of like, I'm I'm like, I'm gonna be your boyfriend or I'm, you know, giving you that experience. It, it's not like there aren't male creators doing or pushing even further for the whole boyfriend experience of like, I love you so much. You guys mean so much to me. And yeah. oh, by mm. the way, here's my here's my 30 minute ASMR of me telling yeah. me how much I love you. And it's like, people like would never ever, ever criticize people who do that publicly. But it's for some reason, it's okay when it's a woman. I don't yeah. understand. That's another major realization that yeah. was very helpful to me. Cause for a long time I was like, am I doing something wrong? Like people saying simp this, simp that. But I'm like, I don't think I go out of my no, you don't even, way yeah, you don't do to like, like that. do that kind of thing. I just love gaming. Um, I love to do whatever kind of, sorry, whatever kind of content yeah. I happen to be in a very male dominated field. Yeah. And then I realized like, wait a second, like so many very, very, very popular guys have female majority audiences mm. yeah. and no one ever uses that as an insult towards them yeah. or uses that to discredit them in any way. Well, it's yeah. just the filthy double standards, right? It's just like- <laughs> oh, it's, 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 it's like, it low-key blew my mind. Cause I'm like, uh. especially like most male artists, think Justin Bieber when he was young or even BTS now, yeah. mm. or like maybe even some male streamers as well. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And another thing it's is- It's definitely like a bad thing. Yeah, yeah and yeah. another thing as well is like you, you are, it's recently the VTubing trend has like, popped off, right? And I remember, especially in the early days of VTubing, there were definitely like, it's if if they were a 3D girl, you know, you, you know, we don't yeah. simp for the 3D girls, but it's fine to like simp for the 2D girls, right? And it's fine for the VTubers, like some of the really early VTubers to really play that up, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Definitely. And it, like nowadays, now it's, it's, it's the male VTubers that are playing it up and uh, it's completely okay. Oh yeah, I, I, I never thought about yeah, that. Now, yeah, now yeah. it's like, you know, yeah, like some, especially even in Japan, like some of the top uh, VTubers in some industries now are male oriented with massive female oriented audiences because obviously, you know, the idol culture is massive in Japan, right? And yeah. No one bats an eye. Meanwhile, yeah. 3D streamer who's a female does it and everyone yeah. loses their minds, right? Yeah, I always thought- I, oh, oh, sorry. Go, go for it. I also think maybe one of the reasons why is because I feel like VTubing and VTubers in general um, appeal to an audience to whom like that maybe isn't as weird or they're not like, as ready, like if you watch anime, there probably is a waifu that you love, right? right. Um, so for that to be a VTuber instead and be a streamer, like that's probably a cool experience for you. Yeah. Whereas mm -hmm. when it comes to gaming, <laughs> over time I learned there are, you know, a lot of people that might tend to be more misogynistic. I don't know the right way to see these to say these <laughs> things that also happen to just lo heck and love gaming. Yeah. But th those types of people don't really like anime. So they won't go and hate on a popular VTuber mm. right, because right. their interest is gaming, not anime. Yeah. If, yeah. if you kind of get what I'm saying. It, it, I feel it, like the audiences matter. Guys are so worried about being like, what the fuck? I didn't do anything. I'm not misogynistic. And so when they, when you, it's hard to have these conversations because a lot of guys feel attacked when they're like, oh, you're, yeah. you're successful because you're a male. And it's like, no, no, that's not what we're saying. It's, it's different. It's, you are more likely to be successful because you are a male because of a number of factors. Yeah. And, yeah. and you can't deny that as a male, you would have advantages in s certain areas. Like mm. that's just how life is. That's how like society has been made. Society. We society. live in a society. We society. society. <laughs> that's just how it is, right? And to not <laughs> accept that and, and be willing to be like, hey, that's what it is. But fuck it, I can, I can still make shit. I can do my own thing. Like yeah, I, yeah. as long as I'm not a yeah. dick to people, what's wrong with that? Yeah, Nothing yeah. wrong with calling it out and yeah. saying, hey, here's understand. how it is. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Did you ever feel like, because there was a point where I feel there was like so much pressure on you that you, like you said, you, it felt like you're in a, like a lose, lose situation, right? Where, you know, the, you know, a lot of the guys were being like, you know, trying to discredit you. you if anyone tried to defend you, they were like labeled as a simp or something like that. Mm. And I, I feel like you even got a lot of criticism from like a lot of girls, like being like, oh no, this is, she's representing girls wrong. Or she's like bringing a bad name for, you know, 
female streamers and stuff like that. I actually feel like that's one of the things I got the least of sometimes. Okay, mm. okay. But really not that often. If anything, the girls were one of the things that kept me going. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Cause good. I feel like no one better understands the struggle than other female streamers, mm. than yeah. other girls right. that game, than, you know, or really any minority within gaming kind of understands what that what that experience yeah, right. is like. Mm. And the craziest part of all of this and the sim stuff is whatever is like anytime I like pull my Twitch audience or like really get any analytics from that, I have way more female yeah. or like n gender not uh, non binary or any other kind of gendered mm. um, right. statistics than the majority of male streamers. Right, right. right. So like, make it make sense.